What do you think of when you walk into an apartment that just looks like total garbage? Like it just looks like somebody just like the FBI came in looking for some stolen evidence for a super hot case and they just turned over everything. A lot of parts departments look like that. Hey guys, what is going on? My name is John Polt and welcome to the Parts Manager YouTube channel. This channel is for current and aspiring parts managers in the automotive industry looking to up their game, sell more parts, make more money. Let's talk about parts. This video is all about building a successful parts department. As a parts manager, I have four pillars that I would recommend any parts manager to really focus on if they want to have a successful parts department. Organization, accuracy, efficiency, cleanliness. Let's go over those. Organization. The key to any successful parts department is organization. If you are not organized as a parts department, as a parts manager, you will not succeed. You have to have organization within your parts department. Bin management, special orders, warranty retention, wholesale orders going out, returns coming in, you have to be organized. Have you ever worked in a parts department where you went to go look at a part in a bin? None of the part numbers in any of the bins are organized in any way, shape, or form. You can't find the part because the bin isn't organized. Maybe the bin doesn't make any sense. Maybe you've got bin 14, it's over there, in the 100s. Why is bin 14 over in the 100s? I don't know, but how the heck are you supposed to know that? Organization. I believe firmly that any person should be able to walk into the parts department and find a part on the shelf if they know the bin location. It should be that simple. It shouldn't be that one guy, Tony, in the back who knows where everything is but nobody else knows. That is not good. Organization, very important, most important thing out of the four pillars. Accuracy, accuracy is extremely important. How many times do you go to look for a part and it's just not there and then you have to write it off. Maybe you find it in inventory, maybe you don't. Maybe it's just gone forever. Maybe it was misposted in. Maybe it was handed out without being sold. Crazy things happen in a parts department. Don't get me wrong, especially if you're a busy, high volume parts department. A lot of parts coming in, a lot of parts going out. You can't be perfect, but you have to have controls in place so that you can have accuracy. Double checking what gets posted in on a daily basis. Doing perpetual bin checks, which is just random bin checks throughout the year. If you find one bin that keeps coming up short, count that bin, make adjustments. Keep your accuracy under control. The third one is efficiency. Now, if you are organized and accurate, your efficiency automatically goes up, but we're talking about focusing on efficiency as a parts manager. Again, I go back to that, anybody in the dealership should be able to come back to parts and pull apart if they know the bin location. That's efficiency. The less time you spend looking for a part in a bin, the more time you have to actually sell parts. I know, efficiency for everybody in the department, not just counter guys, not just yourself as a manager, I'm talking driver's efficiency, back counter guy efficiency, special order part, a technician comes up to the counter. Can you find that special order part? Do you know where that special order part is? Is it on the special order shelf? Is it under the right letter? Is it in stock? Did we already sell it by mistake? Especially when we're talking about shop production, efficiency in the parts department is crucial to keeping your service department busy. But again, if you're organized and accurate, your efficiency automatically goes up but you need to focus on efficiency by itself. And the last pillar is gonna be cleanliness. Just having a clean department goes a very long way. What do you think of when you walk into an apartment that just looks like total garbage? Like it just looks like somebody just, like the FBI came in looking for some stolen evidence for a super hot case and they just turned over everything. A lot of parts departments look like that. If you walk into a department where everything is neat and organized and clean, especially in today's day and age, oh man, you stand out amongst everybody. You could have the most inaccurate inventory this side of the Mississippi, 
whatever side of the Mississippi you might currently be on. But if it's clean, people walk in and like, man, this department is fire. And think about it, when that GM comes back in the Bart's department, you want that place to be clean, organized. You don't want him having any red flags thrown up because your department looks like garbage. Because if it looks like garbage, he's going to investigate a little bit further. If the department looks clean, you keep your job for another day. Organization, accuracy, efficiency, and cleanliness. If you can just focus on those four things, if you're a new parts manager, focus on those four things. Get those four things going and you will have a very successful parts department. If you're a current parts manager and you think you can focus on those areas to become a better parts manager, to become a better parts department for your service department, for your wholesale accounts, focus on those things, I'm telling you. Don't be lazy, work hard, sell parts. I'll see you guys in the next video.